Ah, I think I picked a horrible time to start this video. There is an Amazon jet getting ready to take off. So hopefully you guys don't pick up too much on that. So how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing absolutely amazing. It is a fine overcast evening. You know, with <laughs> Amazon jets taking off over my head any second. Cooling off. Our rainy season is officially in full swing. And I think I'm about to get poured on. But that's all right. I wanted to share this fairly rare little amazing ginger with you guys. It's a dwarf ginger. Rarely gets over about two feet tall at max. Normally maxes out about a foot in full sun. That's a full size plant right there. And it's only a little over a foot tall. But this is the Lao Lemon Rainbow Ginger. Oh, first I'm telling you right now. Mm, I just dug these out of my bed so I can propagate them and spread them around to you lovely people. And the air, just the aroma, oh, is amazing. Not too many things actually have that true citrus punch to them, you know? But these, oh, it's just the lemony, really. Don't want to damage the leaves there too much, but just beautiful citrus punch. Mmm. Makes me want to go make some tea out of it. But yeah, you know, this is a fairly rare little dwarf ginger. And just absolutely gorgeous. If you harvest it for baby ginger, you've got beautiful pink rhizome with orange, yellow, some green mixing in there, red. And then if you let it mature, it turns blue and purple. And it's still got some of the yellows and greens and orange and pink. Just a gorgeous ginger. This really makes a stunning pickled ginger when it's mature. Mmm. Just beautiful. And to cook with it, it adds a lovely punch of that ginger and citrusy. Mmm. Just Overall, a really awesome little culinary ginger. And uh, the colors. When I say Lao Lemon Rainbow, they mean it. It's really vibrant, gorgeous colors. Super easy to grow like all gingers. But uh, fair, I'm not entirely sure why it's so rare. You know, a lot of the gingers outside of the giant Chinese types are, are pretty rare anyways. But this is just a little tiny, rare ginger. <laughs> you can grow it in pots anywhere. And uh, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pot some up. You know, they like it a bit acidic. So I add a bit more peat moss to the compost. It's about 70% peat moss versus my standard mix. And uh, yeah. So if you guys are interested in growing some Lao Lemon Rainbow, you know check out below or wherever you happen to be watching this get a hold of me and uh grow food guys grow delicious food grow grow your own medicine ginger happens to be extremely medicinal you know great for high blood pressure hypertension blood sugar great for digestion great for any you know digestive issues great for your liver kidneys detoxing all that stuff and, you know, that little lemony punch, really. Mmm. Okay, well, <laughs> getting a giant whiff of jet exhaust right now because that Amazon plane across the street, the wind's blowing right at me. Mmm. Nothing like the lovely smell of jet fuel burning in the evening. <laughs> All right, I have a confession, guys. All right, I'm going to bury this in this video about Lao Lemon Rainbow Ginger. All right, are you ready? I, I like the smell of diesel exhaust. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all the things that are wrong with me, right? <laughs> That's, that is why I have to grow things like this ginger, you know? Keeps me somewhat uh, cancer-free and insane from all those exhaust fumes. I just ah love getting a whiff of. <laughs> oh gosh. It's 
quite the mixture. I got this pungent lemon smell just wafting around me, and the breeze is just bringing a great, delicious, sorry, I'm mosquitoes, but we're on there, just, just massive smell of burning jet fuel. <laughs> Oh, uh, I used to be in the middle of nowhere, you know. Anyway, guys, grow food, grow your own medicine, tasty, you know, medicinal, easy to grow. See you later, guys. Like I said, check below or get hold of me if you would like to get hold of some of this amazing little ginger. Ah, grow food. See you later, guys. Lao Lemon Rainbow Ginger. Just gorgeous. By the way, which a lot of people don't know, is you can use the leaves on gingers and turmeric as well. You know, you take the leaves, the young ones, and you chiffon out them real fine. You add it to your rice, your soups, and you just, ah, oh, get a nice, lovely punch of that flavor. Or ginger leaves are a little small, but if you wrap a lot of them around something, but turmeric gets nice big leaves. Wrap your fish in it, wrap your chicken, wrap your vegetables. And it just adds amazing flavor. Or you make nice broths out of them. And sip on some ginger broth or some turmeric leaf broth. A little bit of salt, some pepper. Steep some ginger and turmeric leaves in there. Mwah, to die for, guys. And you can only get that if you grow it yourself. Right? I know I said bye, love you a few minutes ago. But that is what my business, this is what I do. You know, I find and acquire rare, amazing crops, and I make them more readily available, like this guy here. Make you aware of them, make you want to grow them, and then provide you the starts and the stock to grow your own, right? That's what I've done for years. That is what TIFO, it's my business, by the way, <laughs> not just my name. And uh, to ensure food on earth, that is what my wife came up with. And I loved it. And now, yep, became my business name. So there you go. <laughs> See you later, guys. I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes. And um, I will pot some of these up. I do not have, this is like all the plants that I have, actually. Came up very late this year in my beds because we were so dry in the spring. We've been having those really dry springs, and nothing likes a dry spring coming out of winter. And these guys, you can see, they just started pushing out new rhizome, and they've still got months of growth to go. But I will pot some up and make them available to you guys. By the way, this stuff normally goes for about $60, $70 an ounce, just so you know. This is considered a fine culinary ginger and I actually sell this to a couple uh, higher end restaurants and juice bars and stuff that pay quite a bit for it just gorgeous like I mentioned earlier pickling this the mature rhizome ah oh, you do it right and it preserves those colors you'd think it's fake people don't even believe this stuff is real which makes it all the more awesome so there you go end it there